and welcome to another episode of Uber. In today's episode, we are going to learn how to connect your client application using Amplify to your Kinesis Firehose. If you're interested in learning more about serverless cloud computing or software engineer practices in general, subscribe to my channel in the red button below. I post a video every week. So let's get started. <laughs> This is the second episode in my series of building a serverless analytics pipeline. In the first episode, we learned the basic concept of what analytics is, we learned why we are interested in it, and we learned the basic architecture we are going to be doing in this example. In this episode, we are going to the practical side and we are going to start from the first step from that architecture diagram. Let's review the architectural diagram and see what we want to build. If you see, the first part is the Amplify connected to our client, and that's where we are going to put our efforts in this video. We are going to create a starter React application, we are going to add some business logic, and then we are going to add Amplify and connect it to a backend that we are going to do in the next videos. For doing all this, I will be using a library called AWS Amplify for React. This library is available in all kinds of different um, frameworks and programming languages. There is for iOS, Android, React, Angular, Vue, plain JavaScript, whatever you need for your client application is a set of libraries Amplify. Super useful to integrate a cloud backend into a client application, or you can even build your whole cloud backend using the Amplify CLI. I have used it in many other videos and I will leave you in the description box a link to the playlist with all the Amplify videos. But for now we are focusing on Amplify. We are not letting the AWS CLI build the backend for us. We are going to build it ourselves. So we are going to configure manually the Amplify connection to the backend. So the first thing, and I will not show it, is to install the Amplify library in your computer. Follow the instructions that they are in the web page of Amplify. I'll leave you the link in the description box so you can go to the Amplify website and follow the instructions. When you finish installing the Amplify library, let's go to the screen and see what we need to do in order to get this set up. What we are going to do, we are going to take this example, this voting system, this is our example. Up, uh, let's see if there is a demo here. And we are going to make something like this. And every time we click here, this will go to Firehose and we will be able to see the voting in QuickSight. So as I said, in this episode, we are going to create the front end. We are going to put the amplifier and we are going to put all the necessary things that we need to hook it with the back end that we are going to build next. So the first thing I'm going to do is to create a new app. I'm going to call it voting app. I'm going to use this MPX create react app helper and that will make everything I need. I already have amplify installed in this computer and I then will install it in my project, but let's f wait for this to finish. Okay, now it finished, so we are going to go inside that folder, and there we are going to open the project. So here we have our project. It's very simple app. We can do npm start. We can see that there's just a basic React starter app. So, Let's go and check the instructions for the voting system. So it says in the app, app JS, let's copy this. And then what else? In the app CSS, let's copy this. This is how we want the look to be. The next thing we want to do is to put Amplify in this project. So I will open my terminal here. So we can go to our package.json and we can see that there is some dependencies, there is some testing libraries, there is React, and we need to add Amplify. So we are going to install Amplify, install AWS Amplify, save, 
and that will install us the latest version of AWS Amplify. Takes a while. Now we can see that Amplify is here. And now we need to install the AWS Amplify React that it will give us some React components for this application. And then we have everything we need. Good. Now we can go to our app.js and we are going to add Amplify here. So we are going to do import Amplify and then we are also importing the analytics and the AWS Kinesis Firehose Provider. And this comes from the AWS Amplify. And then we are going to create a new file called config. Uh, and then we are going to import it as well. So this one is um, something we will be seeing in the documentation of Amplify. So if we go to documentations, JavaScript, and we go to analytics, and we go to Firehose. Here we can see that we need to import this. And then we import the Amplify library. So the next thing we need to do is to configure Amplify. For that, we are going to create this AWS exports file in the same path, new file, AWS exports. And in here, you will write all the information that we are going to get from the backend. So for now, I'm just going to write just an empty config file. And here you will put the region. I don't know which region we are going to use. I imagine Ireland, but not sure. Here we are going to put the identity pool of the Cognito that we are going to create in the next videos. And finally here, we are going to write the name of the firehose. And that's what we are going to write here for now. In the following video, when we have these values, we will put them here. Good. So now we have our config file and we can go back to our app.js. And here is where we need to configure our application. So we will do amplify configure and then we are going to do, we are going to configure the authentication. And here you need to write the identity pool. So it brings the value from there, region. It's good that you don't put in GitHub this file, the AWS exports, because it has all the important things. So don't, don't put it there. And then we will configure our analytics. And we will also get the region for here. Good. So that's all the configuration we need to do here. And as the documentation say, says, we need to do add pluggable to put the new uh, Kinesis Firehose in our analytics. So it's using that one. And then we have here our application that will have all these languages. I will end up adding more languages, but for now we will not do it. And then what we will do is modify a little bit the boat. So whenever a new boat is cast, it's sent to the analytics. So I will do that. So I want my analytics events to have an ID and I want it to be a timestamp. So I'm getting that. And I'm going to make my analytic event. I'm going to get the one that is voted and get the name. And then I'm going to send it. Here there is the helper and sometimes it helps less because now you cannot see anything. And here in the name of the stream, 
we pass the firehose name and finally we do AWS e this is so this is how it looks we create the event that has as an ID the timestamp and the value is the language that was voted and then we passed the analytic event to this Kinesis Firehose and that's kind of it. So now let's go to our app and let's try it out. I open the console here and in the network so we can see some errors. There should be something coming out. Nope, nothing is coming because our application is not hooked to the AWS account so that's why it's nothing happening but in the next video I will show you how to hook it up it's just basically filling this up with the right values and we will start seeing something I will leave the code in github so you can take a look this was the video for today I hope you like it if you did give a big thumbs up and this is the second video of a five part video so there are more videos on this series to come so please subscribe to stay tuned to all the new notifications. In the next episode, we are going to start working on the backend, but if you have any questions or things you would like to see on regards to analytics or serverless analytics, let me know in the comment box below. I love making content that you want to watch. Around here, there are other videos from my channel that YouTube recommends for you. So go ahead and click, you will find the latest upload and you will also find the most suited video according to YouTube for you. And if you have not subscribed, there is a link in the middle for you to do it. I see you next week with another episode of Fubar. Ciao, ciao.